you you got a guy he's a really good sprawler. You shoot in, he's controlling, he's, he's, he's down on his knees, he's down. And say like I'm right here. Some guys once you shoot in, they're real good at sprawling, they keep their head on your their their hips on your head so you can't your head out. They're like this. They're pressing. So if you got a guy who's doing that really good, the thing I, like I said before, the thing you want to do, if I'm going in, I'm shooting a good double leg, this guy can sprawl. It's like the best sprawl in the world, okay? So I'm dropping the level to shoot in, it's sprawling. My head is caught under. So the thing I want to do is, I got this leg, I can't really pull him in, so I, keep, I have to keep crawling. I keep crawling this way. And the thing I want to do is I'm going to crawl, move my body more this way, my hips more this way, so I get his hand out. But I'm still holding the double leg right here. You notice I'm right here. I'm still controlling the double leg. I took the double leg. I'm moving this way just to do this. So all I want to do, get this hand on the ground. Now I come across with this hand, and I grab my own wrist. Once I have my wrist, I try to pot up. Now I start to move around, putting my this shoulder into a stop, digging it in. And it's important that I keep my hand right here and not let it slide around. So I put all my weight right here on this position right here. This place in the mouth, right here and right here. This is where all my weight is. So he can't move. Controlling him, I'm coming around, digging my shoulder to the side until he's down. No control. Okay, so far what we've done is we've shown the double leg, just just the guys, just from a boxing position. And like I said, all we're doing here is we're changing levels as fast as we can. That's what makes the double leg. It's not how going in or, or how fast I can, uh, once I'm down here, I can push. The thing that makes the double leg fast and efficient is getting here quick. That's the thing I'm doing best. I'm going from here to here. I still see his legs. I'm looking at him right here. Look at my base. I got a good base right here. If I get right here and change my time, I see his leg, I can even get out. My guys, I drop here, I see him coming in, he's coming with the kick or something. Right here, I can still move. I'm still functional. I can move right there. If I go in like, if I go in like a lot of guys shooting double legs like this, he comes up with something. I can't do anything but, but fade away. I can't move from here. To move from here, I got to go back to here and then go. So that's why we're just changing levels to here. And there's legs are. I'm looking at them. Okay? From right here, he's going to shoot in with a double leg. Right in here with boxing, take double boom, and drop. And that's the double leg. Okay? The next one we showed, remember, was we shot in on the double leg and he sprawled. And all I'm going to do is pop my head out and drop. So I'm in right here, shooting the double leg. He sprawls. Pop my, I'm still driving, driving. Pop my head out right here and drive. Okay? The next one is when I shot in and I switched off to the single leg. So right here, I dropped him for the double leg. He sprawls. My head is caught under. I keep driving, I drive, I drive. I get this hand out. Notice I bring my hips around this way and I'm still holding the double leg. I got this down. I grab my own wrist. I try to light up, I put my shoulder into his side, driving him down, and I come, okay? Another variation, let's say we shoot in on a very, very deep double leg, and uh, we don't want to let go of it, we want to keep the double leg, we don't want to switch off to the single, okay? That's fine too, so then what I do is, I drop down, I shoot the double leg, and he's going to catch me, keep keeping my head down with his hips. I'm right here. So now I'm going to keep driving. I keep driving. I use my hand right here to pressure up. To here. Yes. This is a good place to go from. We have a, uh, one of my students here, Shaolin. He's real good, very efficient with the double leg. He loves this move. He shoots in. He almost does it purposely. He gets head caught in it. So he does have to just pressure up. What I'm going to do is this time I'm moving right here and do it. So I'm right here. I'm shooting the double leg. Change the levels, he's going to sprawl. My head is caught under. I keep moving. Now all I want to do is keep crawling and push to here. I notice from here, I'm just pushing up with this hand. I'm grabbing here. I notice when I do flip them off, I'm not going with them. I go here, I put this hand here, and I do this. Then I cover. Okay? Let's go back to this position. Let's say he figure forward my head. No problem. With, with, with his leg, I'm going to double leg. Uh, my hand pushing up. And figure four is my hand my, with his left. He's going to scissor figure four. Same thing. This doesn't really matter. This guy's tight around here. 
Just think about it, do the same move. Right here. Okay, now we're going to go back into that uh, one move a little, in a little bit more detail. When I shoot in, I get a good deep double leg, and I don't want to let go of it, okay? So, he's right here. We're ready. I'm going to shoot in. I'm a little bit, a little bit faster on the, on the double legs now, and a little bit slower on the details of this move, okay? Right here. Right here. And he's crossed. Get my head is caught under. The thing I want to do, I, I got to keep crawling. I crawl, crawl, crawl. From right here, what hits him up is when I get right here, I almost do like a little hop, a little bunny hop. I pull right here and put my hand out. This hand is on the back, okay? Let me turn around so you can see that a little better. Go this way. Okay? So I shot it on the double leg. I'm right here. I've got it good and deep. And like I said, I'm not trying to hold him in tight with my arms. All I'm doing is my arms are here. And I'm crawling, moving, 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 moving. Now all I want to do is take this hand out. Just tip, just tip right between his legs. So right now, I'm sitting like this. My hand is from right here. Let's go to here, okay? From right here, all I want to do is take up this push up right like this with my hand, okay? So right here. So from right here, I don't want to dump him like this. Because then I'm caught someplace weird right in here. And especially with jujitsu guys, now I'm in trouble, okay? Once I'm right here, once I'm right here, why well, I just sit back on my on my on my butt right here? From right here, so you can here. Okay? And then just push up. Okay, from right here. Only thing I want to be, even if you figure four is my head, sometimes I figure four here. No problem. All I want to do, he grabs my ankles, grab my ankles. If he grabs my ankles, he's doing stuff like that. Doesn't matter. Let's go here. And he's off. Okay, let's just do one more variation. Suppose I shoot in for the double leg, and he catches me in agility. Okay, no problem. Okay. So the thing I want to do here is, I can't sit here on my knees. We know that. i got to keep crawling. So what I want to do first of all is tripod up. Put it here. Put my here. All I want to do is move my body just a little bit this way. So I'm right here. I come here. From right here, I shoot this knee through. And I look up. Okay? And from right here, it's very important that I don't just run around him. From right here, I gotta keep turning this way. Into him. To here. Okay? I don't want to just get right here and try to go like this. Because he's just gonna follow me. He's gonna follow me, follow me, follow me, follow me. And I might end up out. But why end up away when I can keep him in the guillotine? One more time. I'll shoot him for the double leg. Well, I'm getting the gear to it. Okay? All I'm doing is I'm tripoding up. Get right here. I'm going to move my body this way. So I'm going to shoot this knee looking up to the ceiling. Looking up. Right here. That's what breaks the grip. Looking up right here. From right here, I turn my entire body this way to get the takedown. Okay, there are two types of gear things. We're doing the first one right now. The first one is where he gets, your, uh, your opponent has your head and an arm. The other one he just straight has his throat, okay? So right now we're doing the head and the arm, all right? So I'm doing, I'm doing a double leg, he's a little bit right here. And what I'm gonna do is, do double leg, he's gonna catch me with the guillotine this time. So I'm doing the double leg, I'm right here. He's got the guillotine. The thing I wanna do now, I gotta try to it up. I wanna go to the side not the, I'm going to the side where my arm is. Not this side right here. I can't go out this way. I have to go to the side. I have to go to the side where his arm, where my arm is out and he's got here. Here, I'm being blocked by this. So what I'm doing is from right here, this hand right here is just still straight on the back. I'm tripoding up. I got to move this way. And from here, I shoot my knee through. Right here. Shoot the knee through. And notice I just kind of skip this leg up when I do it. So I'm right here. To right here. Right here. I don't want, like right now I'm trying to lean more. I want to be right here. Because I'm doing it slow. I'm coming in through a little bit slow, slower here than up in an angle. So right here, I go to here. I come straight up to here. And like I said, it's very important from here. The thing you want to do is you just turn. When I'm right here, I don't get right here and do this. Because after all you do is bring this knee out, come right here again. We're in a bad situation. 
So I'm right here. When I'm right here, the thing I want to do, once you've got it, when I come through, I just turn my body. Because if I do anything else other than this, I'm going to create a whole lot of bad situations for myself. Okay, so from here, I cover. All right. Okay, then the other guillotine we're talking about is just where I come in, and he just grabs my neck right here to try to choke me out. Okay? So I'm right here like this. He's in. Right here, I'm going to shoot the double leg, and he's going to come with the guillotine on. Right here. Same to principle apply. Right away. I just want to shoot. I want to try to pot up. So I'm right here. And shoot through. Right here. Look how I made his arm like this. What it does, he like, like move my body this way, his guillotine comes to here. When I raise my head, look at the ceiling, his arm goes like this. That's the effect that I want, okay? One more time. Come on. Right here. Come up. Shoot through this way. Right here, Jane. Look up, when I go up, my chest is up, and I'm looking at the ceiling. I'm not right here. I want everything I can possibly get to bend this arm back as far as I can. And from here again, I turn. Look at I'm not turning like this, because I'm going back into the gear thing. I'm turning, I'm keeping this up here, I'm turning right here, right into him. That's all I'm doing. And I'm not doing this either. If I do this, I'm in trouble. I'm turning this arm here. And I'm driving. 